Hey guys, I'm Rehane, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can implement pagination in Kotlin. So, let's start. Why we need using pagination? You know guys, because with the paging library, you can load and display a small part of data at a time. Uh, loading partial data on demand reduce the usage of network bandwidth and also a system resource. So, in this video, uh, we will work on the previous project that we had in the health series and uh, we will add pagination to this project. So, I strongly recommend it to see uh, that video first and then back and continue watching this video. For adding pagination to this project, we have three steps. The first one is creating a pagining source. The second step is about creating our view model class. And the last step is changing on our adapter class. So let's do it. The first step that I should to do here, adding dependency. So let me open the build gradle app level file and the end of all these dependency, I want to add my paging library. So here, you need two library for using paging for Kotlin. Okay. And then let me sync it. And the first step was about creating pagining source class. So let me here create a new package, paging, okay. And then add this class here. Okay. I want to put this name. You can put every name that you want and here I should pass my repository. So private val repository, yes, from this. And here I should extend this class from paging source. So yes, guys, this one. And here there is a two parameters. The first parameter here for the page, the movie DB API provides a courier string as a page to specify which page to query. So the first one here should be int for us. And the second one, the information received from the API. For example, uh, here for us, there is a list of popular movie. So let me pass the list. Yes, this one. Movies list response result. Yes, this one. And here I just need to add this one. Okay, here just let me clean this part. Okay, as you can see here, I should implement some members. So here we have two method i import it okay and just let me put it there here uh, there is two method what about this method the first one i mean the load method we do all of things about calling the api fetching the list inside this method and when the network call execute successfully load returns load result that page and the other hand if an error uh, occurred when executing the network call load returns load result that error so let me do it okay here we should return here I want to use uh, try catch block. 
so first I want to have my current page proms that key yes if not pass one and then here I want to have my response call the repository and call this function okay and here pass my current page and well data that response that oh guys uh, let me change this part okay here we can use response and also let me change it for this part and here yes I have body and that result yes it's better and well response data is kind of a multiple list yes and here pass movie list response dot result great and here i just uh, add all data into let me yes response data dot add all this result should add into response data great and here i should call load result dot page great and here i should pass some parameters the first is data and uh, a previous page and next page so data is response data and the other one and the other one is about previous page here i can handle uh, this part with checking my current page if it's one there is no previous page so pass null else minus one yes and about the next page oh sorry i forgot here put comma next key yes current page dot plus one okay and here just let me put this one so here this part that means my call is successful so okay here let me handle other situation when we face the error so catch exception yes and here uh, load result can call with the error and here pass e and also guys here i want to handle uh, http exception error so here we can add another catch here i can put uh, the name http e http yes this one from retrofit and again i can call this method and pass http -E. okay here our work is done with the load method and for get refresh key uh, here we don't need anything to do so just pass return null okay guys here our work is done with this class uh, as i said before the next step 
is creating a view model for that let me create uh, another package view model okay and here let me create a class with this name you can put every name that you want and first of all because of uh, using hilt in this project i should add here hilt view model and also here i can use inject and uh, inside of my constructor inject my repository private val repository yes this one and also here i should extend from view model yes this one guys okay here uh, first of all let me create uh, a variable for uh, loading okay can be um, multiple live data yes this one guys as boolean why i need this uh variable because there is two situation our data is okay and i can delete from api so loading in this situation will be invisible and if there is an error and our list cannot be loading uh, so here this view should showing to user so for that i need this variable here and you will see uh, where we call it and how we can use it so here let me create a movie list and guys here there is an important point we have this method pager and inside this method I should pass paging config yes and here inside this method I just can pass one just that and here I should call my pagining source uh, class let me do it a movie pagining source yes guys this one and pass my repository like that and the end of this part just we can call follow and there is yes this one guys cached in and here just need pass our scope here we can pass view model scope here um, we created our list view model that will hold our uh, paging data that it knows about the app life cycle and uh, yes here our work is done and we can go to next step uh, that means changing on movies adapter so let me do it okay guys here uh, the first step is about this part here should change and extend from paging data adapter yes guys this one and here uh, we should pass two parameters the first one is about our list movie list response yes this one guys and the second one is about our uh, view holder all the thing the same uh, just we don't need any more uh, this method so i can delete this method and also uh, the other thing i should edit here about diff utils we don't need this part and also i should create companion object 
and put my differ a callback inside this companion object. So here and here in this part I should pass my differ callback. So like that. Uh, don't worry guys about this error we will fix it all the thing is good let me fix uh, this error here I just can call get item yes and put the position here and yes and let me add the other things for set yes this one here here our work is done and our adapter ready for use and now we can work with a ui part uh, go to movie fragment and here you can delete all this code okay let me do it we don't need this part of code anymore so also we don't need to have api repository because here we want to use our view model private val uh, view model yes it's okay this one and movie view model yes by Yes, it's okay. Okay, guys, here I want to use this view model. Here I want to use collect, and collect is a suspend function. Because of that, we need to use coroutine scope here. And here I want to use lifecycle scope that launch when created. Yes, exactly. And, uh, here I can call my view model and then movie list and also call collect and here inside this uh, collect body I want to call my uh, movie adapter and submit data and pass it here so great we pass the list that comes from the api i mean that comes from the server here into our adapter and then i can pass it into my recycler view so let me do it are we i'm in yes i mean my bonding body yes movie dot apply and the first thing is about light manager so linear layout manager yes this one and here just pass the context and the last part is about adapter and pass our movie adapter here i should check uh, my API and actually API repository function uh, yes uh, this function and also here in my repository this function should convert to suspend function just I should add a suspend func here and let me for this one and also here great guys everything is done here for now uh, we need to do uh, other things so just until now let me check the result of our code okay guys um, here as you can see everything is work fine I can load and load uh, this list without any limitation but as you can see here there is a progress bar I didn't handle it so I will 
handle this loading and also I want to add something else. Uh, when uh, this list uh, reach the end of the page, I want to show you some a small loading here and also I want to add another situation when user does not have internet here show message I will add a button for retry okay so let me do it the first thing is about this progress bar for handling uh, that progress bar uh, view here again I want to use lifecycle scope and launch when created and guys uh, paging data adapters has a method for checking states of the list and that called load states follow load states follow a stream or somehow add load state listener method provides access to loading states of your UI. Each of these mechanisms provides access to a combined uh, load states object that contains information about uh, load states behavior. So here I want use a movies adapter dot load state follow again I want here to use collect so inside this body I want to have uh, a variable like a state and put it here it refresh and then I can call my uh, progress bar view here yes this one and use this attribute is visible and here pass a state is load a state is loading this one guys here let me try and see the result okay here we can just see some second of our progress bar and then our list is loaded so the other things that I said I want to add uh, the view here with progress bar with the error message and also with a button so let me do it okay for that first of all here I need to create a XML file and I can put the name load more okay and here first I can put progress bar yes wrap content wrap content and let me set ID progress bar yes or load more great okay okay and also let me yes change it to wrap yes here is better and let me put it the size yes here i should set constraint top top of parent and uh, bottom bottom of parent a start a start of parent and end of parents okay guys great and the other things here i want to add is a text view wrap content wrap content here I can put text for example oops something wrong okay and also let me set an ID an 
ID, ID, TV, error, yes. And set constraint, top bottom of my progress bar, start, start of parent, uh, end, end of parent. Great. And also, as I said before, here I need button. Okay, wrap content, wrap content. And the text can be retry and also can be drawable. Okay, here just let me add a drawable. Yes, and here we can. Yes, this one is good. So and drawable yes this one and also I can change of the color yes this one is white is okay and uh, guys when you use tint here you should change into app okay just I need set constraint so uh, top bottom of my TV error and start to start with parent and end of parent so here our work is done just let me why uh, let me this part okay good just let me set some margin top here uh, for example 8 dp okay it's good for using uh, this UI into end of our list we need to have an adapter so let me create a new adapter with this name for example and here I should extend this class from load states adapter this one guys yes and here as usual I should pass this here and my view holder class and also let me create here inner class view holder okay here let me add this part okay and also here it should um, extend from a recycler view dot view holder okay guys great here as you can see we need to implement some member I need both of them so as I always I want these members here and also let me change position of these here okay guys the first thing I want to add here uh, is about my view binding so here private latinate where binding load more binding yes this one and guys here I should binding dot load more binding inflate layout inflator from parent dot context and then pass parent and then pass false everything great and the last things here I should return we holder great so and also here let me pass my binding dot root and also create a function set data here to access the data states to change 
this view I should use load states so here I created a variable as a load state this one guys okay I should handle uh, my views so let me call binding that apply the first thing about my progress bar is visible yes this one this code is totally like this code okay states is load states dot loading okay here i guess yes we have it without a state yeah and here is loading and also about my uh, text view it is visible yes and again a state is load states dot error and as well here is again with my btn i guess i didn't put the id for my btn yes i'm right btn retry yes it's good and go back here and put it there great guys it's good so there is a last a step here and i need to complete this part just i need to use holder that set data and pass load state here our work almost done uh, just there is one steps about this button how our app can recognize a user click on this button so for that here the first i should create a variable well retry and here i should use a unit yes and then pass the unit inside my view holder class again like this just need copy and paste it here and the last step inside of my class i can call init yes and inside this init body i can access into my btn retry and call set on click listener yes this one and pass retry here okay uh here we have an error because here we need pass a retry so great here our work is done uh, we should back into our uh, movie fragment and uh, put some code here I should work with my recycler view so call adapter and here pass a movie adapter and here there is a method with load estate footer header or both of them it depends on you here I want to use footer and inside of this method I should call load more adapter yes guys here and here inside the body i should call again a movie adapter dot retry just that guys uh so let me check the code and how it's work so okay our list is loaded just please pay attention in this part here really okay just let me here uh i hope you see the progress bar here 
here you can see again okay. yes and if I turn off my internet see what's happened okay and back into our code here you can see the list cannot load anymore and show us the error and also this button so here uh, let me access the internet okay let me test it as you can see after clicking on retry button again all the movie is loaded for me here everything works well and our tutorial here is done i just wanted to add some code for handling uh clicking on each button and go to another activity okay let me add uh this code just i wanted to copy and paste that part of code because uh in several time in several video i spoke about them so just let me do it here in the movie fragments I just need add this code yes here for going into another fragment and pass the ID and also I need to add some code into my view model paste this part of code guys uh, as I said before I just want copy and paste this part of code because in several time I spoke about all of these process okay here all the thing is good and here in the movie details fragment just we need to add a movie view model because we need to have access in this part guys okay so here I just put some code on on create yes on create method let me do it and also we need to have a variable like movie id let me put it there and the last part of code and paste it here okay guys here as you can see i just call my list from my view model and i get the response here and put it all the response into my view and here i just want to handle my loading in this view all of the thing is done here just here we have error i guess there is extra yes it's done and let me run again our application and see the result of code. Our list is load. And I want to see details of this movie. So click on it. And here we can see our details of movie is loaded. Here our video is done. If you have any question, please don't hesitate. Ask me in the comment section also if you need uh, to learn about a specific topic please let me know i will try to create a tutorial for you uh, okay guys also if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel like my video have a nice day guys and see you soon in the next video